large language models are not up to date, and they also lack domain-specific knowledge, as they are trained for generalized tasks and can't be used to ask questions about your own data. That's where Retrieval Augmented Generation comes in, an architecture that provides the most relevant and contextually important data to the LLMs when answering questions. As a part of our AI in 5 series, in this video, we will see how you can build a RAG system in just four lines of code using Clarify's Python SDK. The three key components for building a RAG system are the embedding models, which embed and index the data into vectors, a vector database to store and retrieve those embeddings, and finally, a large language model, which takes the context from the vector database to answer. Clarify is a full-stack AI platform that helps you to take language, vision, and audio AI into production, and provides all three, the LLMs, embedding models, and a vector store in a single platform, seamlessly allowing you to build RAG systems. Here is the Colab notebook. First, let's install Clarify with a pip command. Now, you need to set your Clarify personal access token as an environment variable in order to access the LLMs and vector store. To create a new personal access token, sign up for Clarify, or if you already have an account, log into the portal. Click on your profile icon in the top right corner and select the security option under settings. Now, create a new personal access token by giving a token description and selecting the scopes. Copy the token and pass it here. Once you install the Clarify Python SDK and set your personal access token as an environment variable, you can see all you need is just these four lines of code in order to build a RAG system. First, import the RAG class from clarify.rag. Now, set up your RAG system by passing your Clarify user ID. You can use the setup method and pass the user ID. Since you are already signed up to the platform, you can find your user ID under the account option in the settings. Now, once you pass the user ID first, the method will create a Clarify app with text as the base workflow. If you are not aware of apps, they are the basic building blocks for creating projects on the Clarify platform. Your data, annotations, models, predictions, and searches are contained within applications. Apps act as your vector store. Once you upload the data to the Clarify application, it will embed the data and index the embeddings based on your base workflow. You can then use those embeddings to query for similarity. You can go to the My App section on the platform, and here you can see the app starting with rag underscore app. This is the app created. Next, it will create a rag prompter workflow. Workflows in Clarify allow you to combine multiple models and operators, performing various operations to build powerful multi-model systems for various use cases. Within the created app, it will create this workflow. Let's look at the rag prompter workflow that is created. You can open your app, go to the workflow section, and you will see we have two workflows, the base text workflow and the rag prompter workflow. Whenever you upload the data to this app, it will embed and index the data based on this base workflow. And this is the rag prompter workflow. I am opening it and clicking on edit workflow just to show you what this workflow does. We have the input, rag prompter model type, and text to text model types. Let's understand the flow. Whenever a user sends an input prompt, the RAG prompter will use that prompt to find the relevant information from the Clarify vector store and pass it as context. You can see the prompt template here mentioning context information is below. This data dot hits is the context info that the RAG prompter will get from the Clarify vector store based on the prompt. Then the template mentions Given the context information and not prior knowledge, answer the query. Again, passing the user prompt here, which is data.text.raw. Now, we will pass the context along with the prompt to the text-to-text -text model type to answer it. You can see by default, it uses the Mistral 7B instruct model. Finally, the Mistral model utilizes the user prompt along with context to provide answers. So that's the RAG prompter workflow. You don't need to worry about all these things. The setup method will do all these steps for you. All you need to do is specify your user ID. There are other parameters in the setup method. App underscore URL. If you already have a Clarify app that contains your data, 
you can pass that app URL instead of creating an app from scratch using the user ID, LLM underscore URL. As we have seen, by default, the prompt workflow takes the Mistral 7B instruct model, but there are many open source and third-party LLMs in the Clarify community. You can pass your preferred LLM URL. For example, you can go to the Clarify community and search for the GPT-4 model. You can see this is the model. Click on it, copy the model URL, and pass it here. And the next parameter is base underscore workflow. As mentioned, the data will be embedded in your Clarify app based on the base workflow. By default, it will be the text workflow, but there are other workflows available as well. You can go to the community and under workflows, search for text embeddings. These are all the workflows available, and by default, this is the workflow we are using, but you can see there are other text embedding workflows available as well. You can specify your preferred workflow. Next, upload your documents to embed and store in the Clarify Vector database. You can pass a file path to your document, a folder path, or a public URL to the document. Here, I am passing the path to a PDF file, which is a recent survey paper on multimodal LLMs. Once you upload the document, it will load and parse the document into chunks based on the chunk underscore size and chunk underscore overlap parameters. By default, the chunk size is set to 1024 and the chunk overlap to 200. However, you can adjust these parameters. Once the document is parsed into chunks, it will ingest the chunks into the Clarify app. You can go to the app, and in the input section, you can see that the document has been parsed into chunks. Finally, chat with your data using the chat method. Here, I am asking it to summarize this PDF and research on multimodal large language models. Once we run it, as I have mentioned, first it creates the Clarify app for you, then the RAG prompter workflow with the Mistral 7B instruct model as the default one, and it uploads all the inputs to the app. And finally, you can see the response from the workflow about the paper summary. That's how easy it is to build a RAG system with the Python SDK in just four lines of code. Just to summarize, to set up the RAG system, all you need to do is pass your user ID, or if you have your own Clarify app, pass that app URL. You can also pass your preferred LLM and base workflow. Next, upload the documents, and there is an option to pass the chunk size and chunk overlap parameters to help parse and chunk the documents. Finally, chat with your documents. That's all for this video. You can find the link to the Colab notebook below to implement this. Thanks for watching.